study till the last minute. I was a slacker in law school. I still did well because I'm good at test taking. But even my other slacker friends were like, you haven't started studying. And I took a lot of Adderall and I busted my ass for like two weeks. Critical pass flashcards. If you're taking the bar and you're wondering, <sighs> critical pass flashcards. Can't recommend it enough. A, A. And then even if you fail the bar, you could just be an internet thought like me. Why do your elbows bend like that? I am double jointed. I think that's what it's called. I don't have any knowledge on what this is actually called, but I think this is called a double ended, double jointed elbow. People are always like, do you edit your waist? I'm like, what? cause sometimes I'm like this or something and like my arm just looks bent. Like I edited it and I'm like, no. How fast can you be a lawyer? Um, law school's three years. So some law schools, good law schools usually require you to get a bachelor. So you have to get a bachelor's degree and then get the three years on top of it, then take the bar exam. But you can take the bar exam whenever. Most people do it right after law school. Some people do it when the last year, like in the last year. And that actually gives you a leg up in the market because you will be licensed before people in your class. I didn't do that though. And I don't work at any firm now. I did until April. What's the bar hard? Um, I think it's just hard because you have to so much memorization. So in law school, you don't do a lot of memorizing. It's open book. You're, you're tested on your ability to analyze. So how it usually goes is ish, we call it Iraq issue rule analysis conclusion. And you do that and you in your analysis, you have a counter analysis and you go to your conclusion, but you have the law in front of you. So issue, is this person guilty of negligence? Rule, here are the four elements of negligence. Analysis, okay, well, this is the first letter to counter analysis conclusion, but the bar exam is all memorization and analyzing, but a lot of memorization, which is really hard because it's a lot of information you gotta keep. Also, it's a very long test. It's two days, 16 hours. Instagram is written out in my bio. Um, and my Instagram has the link to all my other socials. If you know, you know, it also has the link to my Twitch podcast, which is how I'm trying to maintain some level of intellectual growth being, a being a internet thought. I'm excited for Monday's episode. So please go join my Twitch. I'm going to be doing a PowerPoint on logical fallacies. Yes, I am an attorney. which I did not ever think would, it's kind of helping my branding here now, being like an attorney that does this, which is exactly what I wanted. I want to do YouTube videos on it. I want to I wanna make videos about how not caring what people think made me a rich fucking bitch because it can happen for you too. Stop caring what people think about you. When you actually look at your brain and why it's wired to care what people think, you're like, that's stupid, and then you... Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't yet. I ordered, I'm starting a YouTube channel is very like daunting for me because of the technology behind it. I think one of the great things about TikTok is they made it very easy and that's kind of what gave them an edge, right? Because starting a YouTube is hard, lighting, everything. Um, but I ordered a camera, I ordered microphone and I ordered lighting. So once that comes and I can get it set up, I will start YouTube. I'm gonna upload all of my podcast episodes on Twitch onto YouTube as well. So when that happens, it'll be in the same link that is on my, um, who wants to make a clone, um, that is on my Instagram. I don't have, if, if you guys keep asking me about socials, if it's not on that link, it's not happening. But that link has more, basically everything you could ever ask for and more <laughs> is available to you at your fingertips, guys how you built like that um genetics my chest is very big I have a I have a minimizer bra on right now from Wacol I don't even like to wear regular bras like a push-up bra you will never see me in because I don't like how big my chest is but you know sometimes I do it just depends on the day I like men so okay well thanks for sharing if anyone else has anything they want to share please comment Yes, my chest is real, as many people know. Curvaceous and promiscuous woman. Love it. Where do you practice? I don't work at a firm anymore. I've worked at a firm through April. 
prove what. Go listen to my podcast. There's the proof. Can't find you on IG. What are you guys talking about? You guys are okay. People are just dumb. Then if you don't, have, if you don't have the cognitive ability to find me on IG, then don't join. You can keep the skinny bitch because I like a fat. Oh, any piercings? No, I just have two. I have. Well, I don't even know if I have the second one. The second one might be um, closed now because I haven't done it in a while. I also have no tattoos. New tattoos. Someone ever recognize you at work? Um, no, no. Not at work. It was coming to, f but I got it. Okay, great. You probably got shadow banned on IG. No, I my main account on IG was disabled. I'm trying to get it back. Um, so this the account I have is my backup account. Baby, how can I get your attention? You should not focus on getting my attention. You should focus on something that is more feasible. I will accept all my crimes. What city do you live in in America? I'm not giving you guys super, super um, specific information because it's very creepy that you guys even want to know. Who wants my social security number at this point? Being an attorney of great social great fat. Being an attorney will bring great attention on social great fallacy which fallacy is that bro <laughs> which fallacy is that all i said is that it's helped me so far get a following on my podcast it's helped me be able to learn how to think enough to be able to bring you guys these insightful podcast episodes that a lot of people tell me are insightful this is just my experience. I don't know how that can be a fallacy. If you're talking about an anecdotal fallacy, an anecdotal fallacy is when you make a generalization based on your anecdote. So if I were like, all lawyers, being a lawyer helps you make a business online. If I said that based on my evidence of my personal story, that's a logical fallacy. Sorry, I know this might go over you some of your heads. What coordinates in social security? If you guys are interested in learning more about this kind of logical fallacy stuff, wait till Monday and I will have a PowerPoint up on Twitch. State are you from, if it's not too partial, okay, I'm from California. Appreciate you asking um, if it's not too personal. Some people just be like, we deserve to know everything. What's your IQ? I've actually never taken an IQ test. I've never... I have an idea. I know on IQ, I'm going to be terrible at spatial reasoning. So spatial reasoning is about